Oh, hey up guys, how's it going? Welcome to a new video and if you do enjoy them, do take time to give them a thumbs up, that'd be heartily appreciated. And perhaps give them a share on your own personal Facebook pages or your group pages. You'd be helping me to grow the channel and I'm always appreciative of that. If you've got any queries, any comments, please do post them down below on the video. I do take time to try and reply to a lot of comments. It's not always easy, but I do try to. And I do enjoy reading your comments. Not so much the trolls, but um, I do enjoy reading sensible comments and sensible critique. So what are we doing this evening? Or late afternoon when we're out? Shimano purist barbel rod. We're out doing some barbel fishing. Anyway, let's not witter. Mainline 50-50 base mix. Bird seed ground bait mixed with a bit of hemp. A little bit of mainline proactive ground bait mix. And as I said, mainline 50-50 base mix with my own choice of liquid foods, palliative stimulants, yeast and spices, which I'll go into on a lot later video. That's the sum of it. So Shimano purist barbel rod, X-Age reel, nice little bit of ground bait, perhaps fish one or two swims, maybe a few more into the small hours. We've got good conditions, but as we both know, if you're fishing hard waterways, low stocks of nomadic fish, you're going to be expecting some blanks along the way. And I've been having a few at the moment. I'm up to around about five blanks. So I'm hoping it's lovely conditions. It doesn't go below 13. Really strange for this part of autumn to have it so mild. It's good conditions, but sometimes that doesn't mean a lot on a hard waterway. Tasty. Well, it is when they want it. Chub. Happy with that after a few blanks, I can tell you. Well, how's about that for a proper Chevy? Nice little depth variance in that spot, a little bit of a sunken tree snag and a little bit of a nice gravel patch. Put the bait out, a 50-50 with a little paste wrap 
I tell you what, after a few banks, it's nice to have a good looking chub like this. And whop the top a few times and I just hit that lovely, lovely chubbly. Always nice after a few blanks. Come out for barbel, I know, but I also don't mind having a few chub ever. You know they're one of my favourite species, and especially when they're built like a tank. <laughs> what a cracker. What a cracker. Just draw myself back. Let's get this corker slip back, shall we? Wonderful. Wonderful. Jesus Christ! That was quick guys, that was quick. We took the rod off the rest. This ain't a barbel. I'll be shocked. Oh God, I'm having a nervous breakdown here. Six blanks guys, and a bite straight away like that. Nearly, nearly shocked the bejesus out of me, I'll tell you that much. Oh, it's a good fish. Come on, Mark. Come on, lad. Let's not lose this fish. Get in there. Get in. Wow, that was quick, weren't it, guys? That's a nice looking fish. I bullied her. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to let her get under those snags. <laughs> Within 15 minutes, it was away. What a beautiful looking barbus. Look at those beautiful barbules. Proud dorsal. As I say, my scales are playing up. I can't get away. I can't even get them to register. It's not the batteries. It's making a noise, but it's not coming up with any read out so hopefully my mate will pop out I can rest this fish and, and get a weight and um, we'll see what it weighs but as you can see it's a good fish it's a good fish happy happy days let's pull myself back there you go guys how's about that for a corker beautiful <laughs> after so many blanks guys after so many blanks so 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 I so happy <laughs> beautiful, beautiful mint condition fish. Let's keep it like that and let's get this beauty slipped back. Come on the barbel. Come on the river with heritage. Yes! Off you go. You've gone straight downstream. Wonderful. Well, all packed up. I hate me doing these parts of the videos. All packed up. I don't like guys. I'm sure you guys don't too. I don't like packing up. I don't like going home. I do like my home. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I don't like packing up, having to go home and not be fishing. But yeah. Fished a um, couple more swims. I'm in an area here where I've got fast flow off the f back end at the other margin. Trees that are covering the area and then like a counter clockwise flow like an eddy close in. Not particularly deep there. Nice run on the back though. Nice bit of debris and cover. Thought I'd move and try that this swim but no dice, no bites. Had that fish quite early on really and um, you could say well you had it early on. It was a bit of a deceiving one. You didn't get any more but that is I'll tell you what, that is not an issue for me. I love catching fish from lower stock stretches of river or areas where 
you've got to really find them and locate them and it can be a head scratcher it can be a bit of a game of soldiers I do like getting my testicles scratched you know or picking my brains or getting my testicles stood on a few times by a river when it's moody um, but I do enjoy it and to have that fish <clears throat> that barbel I mean I was on a run of five or six barbel blanks so nice to have that fish always nice to see a chevin as well you know even though on the barbel tackle you could say well it's heavier tackle of course I'd like it on the quiver tip but you know when you've had blanks it's nice to pick up nice to see that rod tip bang round nice to nice to get a nice solid looking chevin but uh, the barbel itself during this trip yeah yeah very very happy with that I was, geez, you couldn't make it up could you I was just sat there I was listening to a message from a friend in Holland who's um, Dick or Richard Dickey as he's known um, was messaging me talking about stuff and I was just gonna reply to him I was just looked down at my phone just out the side I just heard <laughs> rods the rod was gonna exit the rest at the front I l jumped forward <laughs> flew through myself forward and um, yeah it takes you by surprise moments like that you know especially when you've been having a run of barbel blanks looking about for the fish trying to map the swims you know when I pack up like packing up to finish off sometimes I'll literally pack up half an hour earlier and then look for adjacent swims and go around with the rod and have a little lead about and just look for little pockets little variances in depth it could be could be a foot could be two foot could be a difference in the actual uh, just as as literally as tiny as a little slope off a little gully it can be a little change in the actual bottom going from silt to maybe a little gravel patch or a little area where there's a little bit more you know of a crease off the flow close in right under your banks where it can be undercut just looking for little variances in the swims and that can be my own margin that can be the opposite margin and so I, I tell you I, I probably look like anyone who's not a fisherman I don't think fishermen so much but anyone who's not fish, not a fisherman or even maybe a fisherman comes along and sees me right 12 o'clock in the you know midnight or 1am I'm going around I've got no bait on I've just got a lead and my rod and I'm going donk you know don't they don't wind in the tip down in the margins just to gauge all the depth differences and then I'll mark the depth differences of certain swims down on my phone I used to always take a notepad but obviously with the advent of um, mobile phones says me as I'm checking to make sure I've got my mobile I'm always forgetting stuff um, yeah with the advent of mobile phones obviously I can jot it down on the notepad and it all helps I really do fully believe that and moving into like this time of the year you're coming into winter time um, obviously late autumn gonna be kicking into winter soon um, yeah you you know I try to take uh, water temperature readings um, quite religiously um, a few guys know that I'll even try and get down some evenings not fishing just get a water temperature reading and um, just to get some idea of the trends and so forth and check the water clarity um, yeah so there's all those things going on in my mind all the time you know and um, I have like a mental checklist in my head and sometimes I, I've got to be honest I'd like to get it out my head because it's making my head want to explode but it's all those things that keep I feel give you an edge you know keep your brain chip ticking over keep you trying different things different swims uh, you know swims in between swims areas where you know it doesn't look like much of a spot even the most uniform swims can throw up a decent feature or two you know it hasn't got to have every single feature known to man you know it hasn't got to have a load of cover hasn't got to, have nice topography on the bottom even the most more average looking spots can have that extra something special but it can be a case of locating it and having a good feel around but um yeah i hope i'm not waffling i'm trying to give you an insight into how i go about my fishing and um you know looking for different features etc um but it can be tricky it can be tricky you've got to try your try your hardest and i do when i mean hardest a lot of people who watch the videos they they probably don't see how much effort goes in um, with my thinking my thought processes and I do need to do a video with talking about that a lot more um, I don't have your typical thought processes I guess you could say um, yeah it's a little bit a little bit oddball a little bit different a little bit quirky it, but I feel it you know it works it's me you know I'm me and I'm you you know like any other person we've got our own uniqueness I guess and um, yeah I'm a little bit quirky like that but yeah, I'm just trying to say what I try to do, trying to look for different things, different 
changes in swims it can be different circulation of flows try you know trying every single thing to try and pick up a fish when it's hard going when it's tricky on waterways like this um i do feel it can help that you know when you're rolling the dice for it to land on a couple of sixes and you um, might pick up a fish and if you don't you i always say if you know that you've given 200 percent, you can't say you know damn it i've let the side down if i tried a little bit harder if i tried a little bit harder i would have caught you know but sometimes you can you know obviously if you're giving 200 percent, you still blank i mean as i said to you i've had six barbell blanks before this fish today but i tell you what i was happy with that what a what a gorgeous fish what an absolutely stellar looking barbus golden powerful stocky solid and full of vigor and health but yeah it's been enjoyable hope you've enjoyed this video as i say it's a little bit of a funny one because obviously i haven't shown any more swims in in the dark because i didn't want to spook my chances on what is a edgy and moody section of river but yeah i'll just go and show you what, this is what i'm using today so, i don't know if i fully went through it with you enough so i think i mentioned the wrong well not the wrong ground bait but the other ground bait which i'm using but this is what i was using today i think i mentioned it was proactive and it's not proactive this is it looks similar to proactive and it looks similar to the sweet marine from mainline but this is actually the mainline match marginal mix and you've seen it on my tench videos i love it for using it on my river fishing too now you can use it as a method ball it up as a method mix but unlike the other ground baits like the proactive and that which you can make into a method mix this is actually whilst you can ball it up and use it as a normal ground bait which is what i'm doing you can this is specifically for also using as a method and it does absorb quite well and it can make quite a stiff mixture so as you've seen on my other videos i do wrap it around the leads if i'm using whatever uh, a single rod and i can't get it to a, another area on the river if i'm fishing a wide area then i will wrap it around the uh, lead but I like to use it as well because this particular one compared to the other ground baits which are really good this one's got a nice helping of chopped up particle of pellet in there and it's um i really do like this i really do it's kind of a sweet but really fishy aroma it's um, really nice and as i say you can use that as a method mixture that comes in one kilo bags um but what you can do with that if you don't want to buy lots of bags and you want to use just one bag but you don't want to you know one kilo of ground bait doesn't always go that far especially if you're roving about for your chub or your bar or you're dropping into spots and you're putting a few balls in here and there a kilo you know you'll go for it quite quick um, what you can do with that is buy one bag and then dilute it with your liquidized bread or, or your vitalin or your other ground baits if you've got a cheaper ground bait that you want to mix it with but you want to bring that ground bait up to a higher caliber that's the kitty for it in my opinion i think it's a really 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 nice mixture and i'm not bsing you guys i really do like that it's my favorite out of out of all the ground baits that i get from mainline and i love them i love the sweet marine i love the proactive but that one i feel is the up the rolls royce end you know it's 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 higher in the tier section it's a really nice ground bait as i say they're all decent that's one of my favorites i really do really do fight think it's wholesome I think at the same time because you're getting all the different breakdown of, the, of the, uh, my particles that I put in the bird seed in and you're getting the actual pellet breaking down in it a fine mixture of pellet as well it keeps the fish like rooting about as well if they're in the mood of course but I do really really do think I mean I use sweet marine I use proactive and I would say this as I said already is yeah it's really really good I like it anyway that's what I've been using. Got bird seed in there, got a little bit of hemp. And then been using the mainline 50-50 boilies base mix, mixed with my choice of own liquid foods, liquid stimulants, uh, palliatives, and a little few yeasty and spicy extracts. Um, yeah, so it's been working well. Once again, that's what's good. If you're confident in the bait that you're using, um, you don't need to worry about it. You just need to worry about locating the fish and uh, whether they're feeding. And... Um, yeah that's still still the tricky part isn't it you know you can find the horse but can you lead it to water you know but um yeah real good uh, base mix of 50 50 it's um a milk protein but mine is quite a 
dark yeasty brown colour because I add all the different yeast extracts and also savoury fishy flavours in there as well. Um, my mate did say to me he smelt the um, mixture that I used with the um, base mix and I also glug my baits in as well and he did say to me Mark I'm not smelling that again not this trip we're out together I'm not a fish you know and the last time I smelled it it burnt my nostrils it might be nice for the fish but I'm no fish Mark and I'm not damn well smelling it <laughs> but what I will do guys is at some point I will lead into a video regarding the bait rolling and bait making side of things bear in mind I am using a pre-prepared base mix which is the mainline 50-50 but I'm then adding my own signature my own food profiles to that existing recipe anyway hope I've not bored you at the back end of this video I'm trying to talk about tactics trying to as I say give you some insight how my brain works with the fishing how how I use um, my actual um, mental school of thought, my perspective and how I apply myself. Anyway guys, hope I've not bored you on this video, hope you've enjoyed it and wherever you're fishing, hope you're having a good time and you're staying safe. I hope you're enjoying your, your fishing and getting your line well and truly tugged. Till my next video, this has been Mark at Fishing for Memories. Take care guys, see you soon.